Hi guys, welcome to Pilates with Hannah and today we're gonna do an empower Pilates workout. All the core movements will help to strengthen your body, make you stronger and also make you look more confident. We're going to focus to strengthen your whole core including your hips, your lower back and your abs. So when you're ready, just roll your mat and let's begin. Alright, so when you're ready, just allow yourself to lay down on the mat. Now keep your back in neutral, pull your belly button in, hands along your body, inhale, bring one leg up and the other leg up. Now keep your heels and your knee together, your knee 90 degree and your hips square here. Inhale, activate your feet and bring one leg down, bring it back to the other side and a couple more times with your own breath. So inhale down and exhale up. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. And a couple more times. Belly button in and keep your back in neutral here. Press your arms and your shoulder down. And inhale, exhale back. Inhale down and up. And three. To the other side. Two. And to the other side last time. To your left. To your right. And the very last time to your left. Bring it back. Now dorsiflex, inhale, lengthen one leg to 45 degree and switch to the other side and come back, engage your core as much as possible. And if you want to work your core more here, you can lower your leg a little bit, but make sure that you press your arms and your shoulder down, your back in neutral here, and I don't want you to arch your back here. So keep breathing, exhale every time you switch and switch and lengthen. Activate your feet. You can either keep it dorsiflex or you can pull your toe to the front, lengthen it. So three more times each side with your own breath to your left, to your right, to your left, and last time to your right, last time to your left. Bring it down, shake your hips from left to right. Take a deep breath, inhale and exhale. Very good. Now from here, I want you to inhale and bring one leg all the way up to the ceiling. Now lengthen the other leg down. Make sure you press your hips down to the mat. Keep it balanced. Keep your hand on your opposite hip here. Activate your foot. Inhale and press your arms down to the mat. Start to rotate your leg around your hips here. Couple more time. Inhale halfway. Exhale halfway. Activate your foot and lengthen all the way up to the ceiling. Keep breathing. Press your shoulder down and breathe naturally here. Or you can inhale halfway and exhale halfway. Very good. And four more rounds. Keep breathing. Three, two, and last time. Bend your knee a little bit and lengthen and reverse. Make sure you keep your hips balanced, your hip bones stick down to the mat. Only your leg is moving around your hips. And four more times, say with your own breath. Three, belly button in. Two, you don't have to make a so big circle here as long as you can stabilize your hips. And last round, all the way up to the original point. Bend your knee down and bring it. Lengthen it and to the other side. Now, change your hand to the other side. Press it on your hip bones. Make sure you don't flex it, it. So activate your foot again. Circle your legs around your hip. And keep breathing. Belly button in, back in neutral. And four more rounds. With your own breath. Keep breathing. Two. And one slowly. Bend your knee a little bit and lengthen, reverse. And keep breathing. Press your arms down, shoulder press it down far away from your ears. And navel to spine. Two. And last time. All the way up to the ceiling, bend your knee and then bend both legs. Now 
shake your legs a little bit, shake your feet, and then arms along your body, chin to chest, slowly open your leg hip width apart, and keep your feet flat, tuck the tailbone forward, and come back, arch your back here, belly button in, tuck your tailbone forward, and articulate your spine, each vertebra at a time, and slowly, with your own breath, inhale, and exhale, round, and tuck the tailbone forward, and come back. Now stick your lower back down to the mat when you tuck your tailbone forward and articulate your spine. Keep breathing and use the breath to control the movement. So we do it three more times. Inhale and exhale round. Inhale, articulate, exhale round. And one more time, round. And come back to neutral with your back here. Now inhale deeply, tailbone forward, lower back down to the mat and slowly move your hips up until your knees in line with your hips here. Now inhale deeply and start to reach your hips higher, as high as you can. Belly button in, couple more times. Reach your hand toward your heels. Inhale and exhale down. Inhale all the way up and exhale down. Feel your core and your butt here is working. Contract your pelvic floor muscle. Very good. Inhale up and exhale down and lift and bring it down inhale and down and last time slowly draw your hips down shake your hips from left to right now from here keep your hips together and then bring one leg up to 90 degree now the other leg up and stick your heels and your knees together inhale press your arms down shoulder down slowly bring your leg further away from your chest and come back make sure you pull your belly button in Chin to chest, look toward your knees to protect your neck. Couple more times with your own breath. And six, squeeze in the thighs, bring it back together. Feel your abs here. And stabilize your hips. Keep breathing. And contract your pelvic floor muscle, imagining that you're trying to stop the urine flow. Two. And last time. Inhale down, exhale up, and lengthen your leg all the way up to the ceiling. Now inhale, dorsi flex, exhale, bring one leg down, and come back. And still keep working on one leg first. So we do it 10 times on your right leg. Squeeze in the thigh here. Contract your pelvic floor muscle. Make sure that your hips is, not sta uh, is stabilized and not moving. Not lift up or shift to one side. Very good. And we try to do it five more times with your own breath. Inhale down and exhale back. Four. Lengthen your leg all the way up. Dorsi flex with your foot. Three. Two. Keep breathing slowly with your breath. Last time. All the way up. Bend your knees. Shake your hips a little bit here. And when you're ready, lengthen your legs all the way up to the ceiling again. Dorsi flex and bring one leg down and come back couple more times with your own breath inhale deeply and exhale deeply continue to do that for seven more times with your own breath inhale and exhale back six and five make sure you pull your belly button in and still keep your back in neutral here three two and last time inhale down exhale up and bend your knees down Shake your hips from left to right. Now from here, I want you to inhale and then bring your legs to 90 degree again. Now arms along your body, press it down, inhale, open your knees wider and slowly lengthen your leg away and come back. Couple more times with your own breath, belly button in, keep breathing, work your hips here. And keep your back in neutral and lengthen, come back and eight more times. Inhale, lengthen, exhale through your mouth, bend your knees, and come back. Six, five, try to bring your heels closer towards your hips more. Three, two, and last time, lift and bring it down, hug your knee to your dress. Now take a deep inhale, and exhale. Very good. Now from here, open your arms to 45 degree. Inhale and exhale. Bring one leg to 90 degree and then bend one knee 
down to the mat and keep your foot flat here. Now inhale, pull your toe to the front and exhale slowly. I want you to move your hips all the way up. Now open your leg wider, come back, engage your core as much as possible here. I want you to make sure that you keep your hips balanced so you don't have to open and exhale, come back. Make sure that you keep your hips balanced here. Activate your feet and you don't have to open your legs so wide. Just make sure that you still can stabilize your hips here. So spread your arms and your whole shoulder down, chin to chest. And three more times. Come back. Two. And last time. Inhale, open. And exhale, bring it back. Bring your leg down. Slowly draw your hips down. Shut your hips. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. And when you're ready, bring the other leg up 90 degree here. Inhale and draw your hips all the way up. And again, check the balance on your hips here. Inhale, open your leg and exhale, close chin to chest. Belly button in, keep breathing and press your opposite foot down to the mat. And four, three, two more times. Inhale, open, exhale, close. And last time here, slowly draw the hips down, hug your knee to your chest, take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Very good. Now open your leg with the part here, arms along your body, inhale, and exhale, draw your hips, each vertebra at a time, and slowly bring it down, arch your back, and come back, tuck the tailbone forward, lift all the way up, and exhale, bring it down, articulate your spine, and bring it back. Squeeze in the thighs and keep your legs parallel here. Your knees still facing up to the ceiling. And come back, arch, round, and up slowly with your own breath. Inhale all the way up. Exhale down, round your spine and lift. And bring it down. And lift. Press your feet down. And feel the balance on both knees, hips. All right, and two more times with your own breath, arch and round. And last time, articulate your spine, tuck the tailbone forward, lift it all the way up. Now from here, lift one heel up and bring it down to the other side. Come back, make sure your hips do stabilize here and not flat to it. And to your left, to your right, press your arms down, reach your hand toward your heels. Shoulder down and three. To your left, two, to your left, and last time to your right, last time to your left, slowly draw your hips down, hug your knee to your chest, and rotate your ankle here, reverse. Now, I want you to inhale, hug your knee to the chest, lengthen one leg to 45 degree, inhale, lift your head and your shoulder off the mat, pull your belly button in and stick your low back down to the mat, exhale, switch to the other side, couple more times with your own breath and to your left, to your right. I want you to lift your chest a little bit higher, chin to chest, to make sure that you can scoop your belly more and don't put a lot of pressure on your neck. So five, to your left, lengthen like someone pulling your leg away from the center and use your hand to pull the other knee closer towards your chest. Very good. And last time, to your left, Bring your head down, shake your hips, and take a deep inhalation, and exhale through your mouth. All right, now from here, I want you to put your leg down, keep your feet flat here, bring your head and your shoulder off the mat, use your hand to support. Now open your elbows wider, pull your belly button in, inhale deeply, and exhale, reach your shoulder higher, come back. 10 times with your own breath, nine, Eight, keep breathing. Seven, six, squeeze in the thighs, press your feet down. Four, and three more times. Two, and last time, slowly bring your head and your shoulder down and shake your hips here. Now this time, bring your hand all the way up to the ceiling, still keep your feet flat here. Open your leg hip width apart and palms facing each other. Now inhale slowly. Draw your hips all the way up, knee on top of your heels, and slowly bring it down. 
Inhale all the way up. And exhale, bring it down, chin to chest. Look toward your knees. Keep your hips balanced and your legs parallel. We try to do it five more times. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, bring it down. Four. And bring it down. Three. Keep breathing. And last time, inhale, lift. And exhale down. Shake your hips from left to right, good. Now from here, I want you to inhale and then reach your head and your shoulder again up and support your head and open your elbows wider again. Now this time, I want you to inhale and bring one leg up to the ceiling. Keep your knees square, your hips square here. Activate your foot. Now inhale and exhale, reach. Bring your knee toward your chest and further away, reach. Every time you reach, I want you to exhale and a couple more times with your own breath. Keep breathing. Lift and down. Open your elbows. Shift your shoulder toward your hips. Shoulder far away from your ears. And a couple more times with your own breath. Keep breathing. Use the breath to control the movement. And three, two, Last time, reach, bring it down, take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale. When you're ready, bring the other leg up and head up. Now again, open your elbows wider, shoulder down, inhale, belly button in, and exhale, reach, come back, bring your knee closer and back towards your head and bring it back a couple more times with your own breath. Keep breathing, exhale up, inhale, further away. And come back. Feel your core is burning here. And three, two, activate your foot. Last time, slowly head down, leg down, shoulder down. Take a deep inhalation here. And exhale through your mouth. All right, very good. Now from here, I want you to lengthen one leg up to the ceiling and Use your hand to hug your knees here. Lengthen the other leg to 45 degree. Inhale and exhale, switch. Keep your back and keep your shoulder and your head down. Keep your back in neutral. If you want to scoop your belly more, you can lift your head and shoulder off the mat, but make sure you stick your lower back down. Very good. And a couple more times with your own breath. Exhale, use your hand, pull your leg toward your head a little bit more. And three, to your left, two, Engage your core to your left and last time to the other side and bring it back, hug your knee to your chest, inhale deeply and exhale deeply. All right, now from here, one knee to chest, lengthen one leg to 45 degrees, lift your head and your shoulder off the mat again. Now open your elbows, we do crisscross, so we try to lift your chest to the opposite knee here, not your elbow, but your chest. So inhale, lengthen, reach, exhale come back and exhale reach to the other side so we make a quick breath here and use a breath to control the movement lift now try to open your elbows so we can reach your chest a little bit higher lift come back and five more times they try each side to your left four keep breathing to the other side and three exhale up Inhale down, exhale to the other side, and come back. And last time, last time to your left, bring it down, hug your knee to your chest, take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Now, again, one more time, and exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. Now from here, I want you to open your legs, to the, your arms to the side, 45 degree, press it down, belly button in, keep your legs 90 degree here, stick your heels and your knees together. Now slowly bring your legs to your left, come back to your right. Make sure you press your opposite shoulder down, squeeze in your thighs and feel your oblique is twisting here. And make sure you don't bring your shoulder off the mat it should be stick to the mat and the legs is only go down to the part that you start to feel like your shoulder lifting up very good and we'll do it a couple more times inhale to your left exhale through your mouth back to the center keep your hips square 
and your knee square here to your left keep breathing inhale and exhale deeply to your left back to the center shoulder down and last time to your left last time to your right back to the center now when you to inhale still press your arms and your shoulder down lengthen one leg all the way up and lengthen the other leg up now inhale slowly bring both legs to your left make sure you press your shoulder down and come back i want you to keep your shoulder far away from your ears so strip it toward your hips here and to the other side bring it back here inhale and exhale come back lengthen your legs all the way up to the ceiling it will be more challenging than the previous movement so if you feel like you want it a little bit easier and modification you can bend your knees like the previous movement and keep doing it feel your oblique here and keep breathing and five more times inhale exhale back inhale to your left and exhale bring it back and couple more times squeeze in the thighs contract your pelvic floor muscle and belly button in the most key important thing here keep your pelvic floor muscle up and belly button in beautiful and last time to your right back last time to your left and bring it back to the center legs down shake your hips from left to right very good now from here i want you to inhale and then slowly bring one leg all the way up to the ceiling now this time slowly bring your leg down hold it here for a couple more times in your core inhale open your leg wider exhale come back and open press your right foot down to the mat bend your knees and make sure that your hips stabilize and balance here we try, we try to do it five more times with your own breath inhale open exhale come back inhale open and exhale bring it back three two and last time press your hip bones down stabilize lengthen to the other side open and bring it back make sure that your leg the other leg and your hips not moving here only your leg is moving open and come back and get your core belly button in and back in neutral so we do it two more times with your own breath and last time bring it back to the center bend your knees shake your hips from left to right very good now from here i want you to inhale and slowly draw your hips all the way up bend your knees open your leg here with the part here keep uh, your hips balanced slowly rotate your hips to your left and to your right belly button in couple more times with your own breath inhale deeply and exhale to the other side so five four keep breathing three to your left two and last time to your right last time to your left bring it back to the center slowly draw your hips down shake your hips from left to right all right now from here i want you to inhale and then slowly lift your head and your shoulder off the mat now open your elbows wider here and slowly bring one leg up the other leg up here stick your heels and your knees together now this time dorsi flex inhale open your elbows pull your belly button in and push both legs further away come back make sure you press your shoulders toward your hips so five in your core four keep breathing three more times inhale exhale back two and last time lengthen and bring it all the way back now point your toe to the front here inhale and slowly bring your legs to the sides and lengthen come back close inhale lift your chest a little bit more and chin to chest scoop your belly stick your lower back down to the mat we do it six more times with your own breath inhale open exhale bend and close inhale open and lengthen exhale bend and bring it back together so we do it three more times with your own breath two lengthen come back 
belly button in still last time lengthen and dorsiflex here now i want you to bring your head and your shoulder down hands along your body and press it down hold your legs here and start to bring your heels closer and toward your chest so inhale and exhale come back engage your core and five more times four three press your arms and your shoulder down keep your back neutral here belly button in last time now slowly bring your legs together hug your knee to your chest take a deep breath inhale and exhale and one more time inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now from here i want you to allow yourself to sit up and then slowly come to own four position here open your arms shoulder apart and your legs here with apart here now put your shoulder far away lengthen your neck and look down to the mat touch your feet here now inhale slowly rotate your eyes the eyes on the elbows facing each other dip your shoulder between and lift engage your core and keep your back neutral don't arch your back here and keep breathing inhale down exhale up lift and down and three two last time slowly bring it back now from here i want you to inhale and then keep your heels up now move your knee further away here move your hands to the front so make sure when you uh, your hips and your knees your shoulder in line with each other now shoulder on top of your wrist here inhale and exhale bend your knees down hold it here for three two and one slowly push it all the way up and one more time bring it down into your core and push it all the way up here very good now from here bring your knees back so heel, hips on top of knees here tuck your feet inhale and exhale lift your hips all the way up now inhale and lift your heels up exhale bring it down contract your pelvic floor muscle and squeeze your butt here look to the middle of your hands here lengthen your neck lift your heels up and bring it down and five four keep breathing three two and last time slowly bend your knees down heels up and slowly bring it back to your own four position here now inhale deeply keep your heels and your knees together bring your leg up and make sure you don't shift your hips to one side so i want you to lift it up and then shift your hips back so make it balanced dorsiflex inhale and start to make a little pulse here into your core as much as possible lengthen your neck and look down to the mat in five four three two and one bend your knee inhale and exhale knee to elbow come back lift round your spine and articulate your spine into your core to support your lower back and couple more times here with your own breath three round two and last time lengthen and come back to the center shake your hips from left to right now to the other side here inhale lengthen your leg to the back keep your hips balanced here lift your legs up make sure you don't shift your hip to one side into your core and dorsiflex with your foot start to pumping your feet and keep breathing here five four three two and one now bend your knees 90 degree here inhale and exhale brow the spine knee to elbow and arch your back into your core move it back up and round down lift and come back make sure you always into your core to support your lower back here because we have to arch your back so inhale and exhale come back and one more time arch and exhale bring it back bring your legs down shake it from left to right very good now from here i want you to slowly touch your feet open your leg here with the part here now inhale shake your hips from left to right lift your knees up and open your knees wider come back 10 times with your own breath belly button in keep your back neutral in your core squeeze your butt here and five four three shoulder on top of your wrist and last time bring it down take a deep breath inhale and exhale all right now from here i want you to allow yourself 
to lie down on your stomach. Now, put your hand under your forehead here. Open your leg here with the part. Now, put your shoulder toward your hips. Pull your belly button in. Inhale and lift your leg up. Exhale, bring it down to the other side. Lift and bring it down a couple more times. With your own breath, inhale all the way up. Exhale down. And to the other side, belly button in. Squeeze your butt together. So we do it five. The key thing here is I want you to press your hip bones down to the mat. So only your leg is move up and down. And three. To your left. Two more times each side. To your left. And last time. Now bend your knees, stick your toes together, engage your core, inhale, and exhale, bring your knees up. Now slowly move your knees to your left, come back to the center, to your right, keep breathing, engage your core, pull your belly toward, belly button towards your spine. Lift it up, very good, and lift your pelvic floor muscle up here. Feel your hips and your oblique is working. So three, to your left, two, and last time, to your left, bring it back to the center, legs down. Now inhale, lift both legs up, exhale down, squeeze your butt 10 times with your own breath. Inhale all the way up, exhale down, inhale, lift and exhale down. Keep breathing with your own breath. And six more times, inhale, exhale, five, four. Belly button in. Two and shoulder down far away from your ears. Last time, slowly lengthen your legs here. Very good. Now from here, I want you to inhale and put your hand next to your chest. Close your elbows to the back. Put your shoulder far away from your ears and lengthen your neck. Look down to the mat. Inhale deeply. Lift your torso up. Engage your core and exhale. Bring it down. Use your hand to push it up, but make sure your hip bones do stick down to the mat. And five more times, squeeze your butt here, contract your pelvic floor muscle, lift, and exhale, bring it down. Press your feet and your legs, your hip bones down. Stabilize your legs and your hips. Keep breathing. Inhale, and exhale, come back. And five more times with your own breath. Four, keep breathing. Three. Two, and last time, all the way up, and slowly bring it down, shut your hips from left to right, very good. Now from here, I want you to again, make a pillow under your forehead. Now, press your shoulder towards your hips, lift one leg up, and lift the other leg up, start to beat your heels together, and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, press your hip bones down, only your legs are moving. Three, two, and one, slowly open your leg and bring it down with your breath. Inhale deeply, and exhale deeply. Very good. And slowly bring your leg, one leg up, dorsi flex, and try to open your leg to the side, come back. Ten times with your own breath, make sure that your hip bones here stick down to the mat and belly button, lift it all the way up, keep breathing, and five, four, three, two more times, keep breathing, and last time, bring it back, pull your toe to the front, bring your leg down, and to the other side, dorsi flex, inhale, open your legs wider, come back, make sure you check your shoulder frequently, make sure it's far away from your ears and down toward your hips and inhale deeply exhale close inhale open and exhale close three two try to open wider a little bit while your hips still balance and last time slowly close pull your toe to the front shake your hips from left to right very good now from here i want you to inhale and slowly bring your leg up and the other leg up to 90 degree here. Now this time, I want you to try to um, touch your toes together and lift your both legs up here. Now I want you to squeeze your inner thighs. Try to bring your knee closer to each other and open. And squeeze and open. 
make sure you enter your car here and shoulder far away from your ears so we try to do it six more times with your own breath five imagining that you have a ball this mini ball between your thighs here you try to squeeze the balls into each other and four more times inhale exhale open three two and last time slowly bring your legs down shut your hips from that to right very good now lengthen your legs over your head here now inhale deeply and lift one arm and opposite leg up and exhale bring it down still keep your neck lengthen and look down to the mat here now we try to do it 10 times each side with your own breath engage your core as much as possible keep breathing belly button in inhale up exhale down lift and bring it down and use a breath to control the movement so five to your left, lengthen like someone pulling your legs and your arms away from the center. Lift and come back. And three, two up to your left. And last time to your right, last time to your left. Bring it down. Shut your hips from left to right. Inhale deeply. And exhale deeply. Very good. And when you're ready, lift your arms up and your legs up. Engage your core. To support your lower back here and start to pumping your opposite hand and legs like we're swimming here keep breathing engage your core and squeeze your butt contract your pelvic floor muscle here keep pumping and five four three two and last time slowly bring it down shut your heels from left to right now slowly roll yourself back to try pose position, open your knees wider, stretch your back more, keep breathing, inhale, shut your hips from left to right, and exhale deeply. Very good. And when you're ready, slowly to roll up to sitting posi position. And that's the workout for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe to see new workout every single day, and see you tomorrow. Bye.